What's going on you guys? CJ Hawk 85 Gamer and today I'm going to be playing week 2 of our season mode of Madden NFL 16 as I play again the Philadelphia Eagles against a team that has had a huge rivalry in the NFC East for so many years. They're going against the Dallas Cowboys in week 2. Eagles versus Cowboys. One of my favorite rivalries in football. Yes, the Fighting Eagles, that I'm going to call them. And um, they're up against, yeah, this guy. Jason Garrett. Tony Romo. Homo, whatever. The king of interceptions. Chokes in big games, and hopefully he can choke in this one. Because that's what Tony Romo does. Um... Last night, I did see that game, the Eagles and Falcons game. Man, that was tough to watch, too. That was just too tough to watch. And yeah. All right, anyways, here we go with the kickoff. Boykins gets stopped at the at the 32-yard line and only gained 27 yards of that opening kickoff to give the Eagles some good field advantage. So here we go. First and ten. Sam Bradford hands it off to Marco Murray and gets dropped down and denied and didn't get any yards. So second and ten. Sam Bradford onto the shotgun and throws it to Zach Ertz and oh he drops the pass. It was intended for Zach Ertz and could have caught it. Man oh man. I just can't believe he dropped that. So here we go, third and ten. Bradford passes it to Zach Ertz again, but this time he catches it. But unfortunately, only gained three yards, and we were forced to punt the ball of a three and out. So we punt the ball, and Orlando Sandrick would run it for a couple of yards. You get dropped at the 22-yard 20 line, I believe. Yeah, there you go. So here we go, first and ten. Tony Romo getting set. What would he do? Hand it off to Joseph Randall and only gain a couple yards. And it'll be second and four. And it was a nice stuff for the Philadelphia Eagles. But last time in the last game, the Atlanta Falcons scored a touchdown. And unfortunately, Dallas Cowboys did not score a touchdown in the first play. Oh, a high snap. As Tony Romo was lucky not to fumble the ball, hands it off to Joseph Randall. But he would only gain two yards. And it would be third and two. What would Tony Romo do next? Can the Eagles stop them and make sure they didn't get a first down? I hope it doesn't happen like this in real life, too. Romo hands it off to Joseph Randall again and gets enough for the first down. Little replay. Joseph Randall only gained like two, three yards. It was enough to get a first down for the Dallas Cowboys. So first and ten, Tony Romo hands it off to Joseph Randall again. But this time he gets stopped and loses one yard. So it would be second and eleven. Would Tony Romo throw a pass? going to have to at some point. So second and 11. What will Romo do? He's in the shotgun. And he passes it off to Terrence Williams. Only gained 10 yards, but unfortunately he's a few inches short. So it will be 30 inches. What would Romo do? Takes the handoff. Romo in the shotgun. And passes it to, to Jason Witten. And gets knocked down at the 29-yard line. And that was enough for a first down for Jason Witten and the Dallas Cowboys. Look at the replay. Man. So far, my team around this time was struggling on defense. Couldn't stop them on third down so far. But will we be able to stop them? And all three downs. So first and ten, Romo hands it off to Joseph Randall, but only gained four yards. 
on that play. So here we go, second and six. What will Momo do? He goes to the shotgun, and Romo passes it to Terrence Williams, but unfortunately his feet were out of bounds. So it was an incomplete pass, third and six. Romo looks like he's ready to get into the shotgun. What will he do? He passes it to Cole Beasley. It got stopped at the 14 yard line. That will be enough for the first down for the Dallas Cowboys. Man, it's just that the Eagles couldn't do anything on defense. We've been struggling, first and 10. Randall goes down. And that would conclude the first quarter as it was a tie game, zero to zero. But will the Philadelphia Eagles stop the Dallas Cowboys in making and avoiding getting seven to nothing for Dallas Cowboys? Second and nine. Tony Romo goes to the shotgun. And oh, and Tony Romo got sacked. What a beautiful design play. And take a look. Barwin out of nowhere sacks Romo. Third and 15. How will Tony Romo respond to that? Goes to the shotgun. Passes it to Randall. Got stopped at the 10 yard line. Only gained 9 yards. It was 4th and 6th. And the Dallas Cowboys would have to settle for a field goal. But would Bailey kick it right through the uprights yes he would so the Dallas Cowboys would lead it three to nothing over us the Philadelphia Eagles take a look at the replay kick it right through the uprights that was a beautiful kick and bounce right back towards us <laughs> so here we go with the kickoff Boy, can we catch the ball and run it towards the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25, and the 30, but only got stopped at the 30 yard line. So it will be first and 10 for the Philadelphia Eagles. A beautiful 32 yard reception for Boykin. So here we go, first and 10. Sam Bradford hands it off to the Marco Murray, and look at this. Only gained six yards, so it will be second and four at the Eagles' 36-yard line. How will the Eagles respond back after being down three to nothing in the second quarter? Sam Bradford hands it off to the Marco Murray again. It was enough for a first down, got stopped at the 45-yard line. But technically, he got stopped at the 44-yard line. So first and 10, Sam Bradford sets up. What would he do? He'd hand it off to DeMarco Murray, or would he pass it? He decides to pass it to Zach Ertz, but oh, almost picked off out of nowhere. Zach Ertz drops the ball and almost got picked off. Look at this. Ertz caught the ball, but dropped the ball. And it was almost an interception for the Dallas Cowboys to be on offense. That was a close one. That would have sucked. So second and ten. Bradford on the shotgun. It passes it to Zach Ertz. And this time, he would catch the ball and get a first down at the 36-yard line. And what a way to make up for, for that big mistake that he made of dropping the ball but almost getting picked off as well on the last play. Look at this. What a beautiful catch by Zach Ertz. So it'll be first and ten at the 36 yard line. Bradford in the shotgun and passes it. Oh, almost got picked off again. Oh, that was scary. He was intended to pass it to Marco Murray, but almost got intercepted. But Bradford, what would he do? Passes it to Zach Ertz again. He was down at the 28-yard line, only gained eight yards. Third and two. 
Bradford looks like he's going to the shotgun. Who would he pass it to? He Hail Mary passes it to Jordan Matthews, and what a catch by Jordan Matthews as he puts two feet in bounds and catches it with a touchdown. Man, what a beautiful catch that was. Look at this. Jordan Matthews catches it one hand up in the air. It connects and had the ball on hold and had both feet in and that was beautiful. And then we kick the extra point. Perfection. Beautiful kick and the Philadelphia Eagles would lead it. Seven to three. Could they hang in to the lead against the Dallas Cowboys? As we get closer to the two minute warning, they kick it off. The Dez Bryant. And he gets stopped at the 22 yard line. For the 18 yard run by Dez Bryant. Tony Romo. What would he do? First and 10. Romo with the shotgun and passes it to, to Dez Bryant. It was a low throw. Only gained about seven yards. And it was taken down to the two minute warning. Second and three. Tony Romo. Goes to the shotgun. And he passes it to Joseph Randall. And that was enough for the Dallas Cowboys to get the first down at the 40 yard line. Romo in a hurry. First and 10. And look at this. Look at this. Intercepted! Oh, and that calls for an interception party. And guess what, folks? Everyone is invited. Look at this. Nolan Carroll was the one that caught the interception. Eight to the Philadelphia Eagles. Some offense. So the Eagles ball. Hands it off to DeMarco Murray. They only gained about seven yards. Got stopped at the 29 yard line. And we're getting closer and closer towards the end zone. Will we score a touchdown before halftime? Who knows? We'll see. Second and three. Marco Murray gets it up for the first down. Only gets stopped at the 18 yard line. And that was enough for a first down, courtesy of DeMarco Murray. First and 10. With 52 seconds on the clock. Bradford in the shotgun. He passes it to Riley Cooper. And that was enough for a first down at the one yard line. What a catch by Riley Cooper. So what would Sam Bradford do? First and goal at the one yard line. He would decide to go for a pass. And all of us got picked off, and the joke would have been on us. Oh, that was a close one. We almost got picked off. Second and goal. What will Bradford do? This time he hands it off to DeMarco Murray, and he puts it into the end zone with a touchdown. DeMarco Murray. Where's the touchdown for the first time in this game? It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to get a touchdown. Point after the attempt. PAT, we kick it right towards the uprights. And it will be 14 to 3, heading towards halftime. Marco Murray. Raised by Chip Kelly. Des Bryant catches the ball. Runs it to 10, to 15, and to 20. He only got knocked down at the 19 yard line. So how will Tony Romo respond to our interception with a touchdown on that last drive for the Philadelphia Eagles? He hands 
passed it off to Joseph Randall. And only got stopped at the 22 yard line. Only gained three yards. And it would be second and seven. But unfortunately, that would wrap up the second quarter and wrap up the half. And at halftime, we lead it 14 to three. Would the Dallas Cowboys come back after being down by 10 points. The Dallas Cowboys would get the ball. Dan Rick catches it, and he runs it to the 26-7 yard line. You'd be stopped at the 26 yard line. Only gained 22 yards of that kickoff return for the Dallas Cowboys. So it'll be first and ten at the 26 yard line. Hands it off to Joseph Randall. He gets stopped at the 25 yard line and only lost one yard. One yard. Look at the way the Eagles stop Joseph Randall. Uh, that was something. <laughs> okay, whatever. Can't think sexually. Okay, second eleven. Tony Romo hands off to Joseph Randall again, but this time he loses a couple yards. Only lost three yards. It will be third and 14. Romo in the shotgun. He passes it to Jason Witten and gets dropped at the 44, 43 yard line. And that would be enough for a first down for the Dallas Cowboys. They're in midfield. Replay Jason Witt with a beautiful catch. A great pass by Tony Romo, and that was enough for a first down. First and ten. Tony Romo hands it off to Joseph Randall, but only gained three yards, and it would be second and seven. And mid he would hand it off to Joseph Randall again, but this time he goes nowhere, no gain. He did not gain that one yard of that one. He remained third and seven. A great stop for the Eagles defense. Romo. And the shotgun passes it to Terrence Williams, but it wasn't enough. There were a couple inches short. But the first down. It was a beautiful play, a beautiful catch. But unfortunately, there were a couple yards they were a couple inches short, I might add. So they would have to punt. Marco Murray would run it off. He gets stopped at the 18 yard line. So it will be first and 10, Eagles ball. First and 10. Sam Bradford hands off to Marco Murray. Only gains four yards. So it will be second and six. What would Sam Bradford do? Will he still go with the run game or would he pass it? We would soon find out. Second and six. Romo hands it off to DeMarco Murray. But this time he gets shut down and loses two yards. So it would be third and eight. And look at the way the Cowboys defense stopped DeMarco Murray. They know everything about him. He's played with Dallas for a long time, so here we go. Third and eight. Bradford in the shotgun and passes it off to Zach Ertz. And that would be enough for a first down at the 32-yard line. Man, what a catch by Zach Ertz. And both feet were in bounds, and he had control of the ball. And that would be enough. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. What would Sam Bradford do? He would fake the handoff and the shotgun and throws a Hail Murray. And Jordan Matthews catches it and gets dropped at the 10 yard line. What a play by Sam Bradford. And look at this. Take a look. Bradford throws a Hail Mary to Jordan Matthews and gets stopped at the 10 yard yard line it would be first and ten but technically it would be first and goal hands off to Marco Murray 
And he goes into the end zone. And that would be enough for a touchdown. Man, two rushing touchdowns for DeMarco Murray. He is a beast. He's one of the best running backs in the game. Man, amazing. Look how strong he was to get to the end zone. And then the Eagles would kick it right to the uprights. Perfect kick. The Philadelphia Eagles would lead it 21 to three. This was a beatdown on the Dallas Cowboys. How would the Dallas Cowboys come back into this game? There's only eight seconds left in the third quarter. And Sandrick would do the smart thing, kneel it down and not take any chances. Plus saving eight extra seconds for the Dallas Cowboys is as they try to get things going their way. Will they be able to do it first and 10? He would pass it to, to Jason Witten and that would conclude the third quarter. Second and one as they kick off the fourth quarter. Romo in the shotgun. And Romo passes it to Devin Street and gets enough for a first down. And that was a beautiful play for the Dallas Cowboys. But it's unfortunate they're getting stomped. Oh well, they're getting stomped. But seriously, first and ten at the 41 yard line. Romo would pass it to Jason Witten and oh man, knocked out one guy and got enough for a first down at the 43 yard line as the Dallas Cowboys try to fight back. Will they be able to put points on the board? First and 10. Romo in the shotgun. And passes it to Joseph Randall, but unfortunately Joseph Randall couldn't get it on time. Second and 10. What would they do next? Romo. What would he do? Go for the pass in the shotgun and passes it to Joseph Randall and only gained seven yards. So it'll be third and three. What would the Cowboys do next? Third and three. Tony Romo, what would he do? we go to the passing format to the shotgun and gives it to Jason Witten and that would be enough for a first down at the 31 yard line. Only gained a couple yards and that was enough. Enough set for the Dallas Cowboys. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. Only three minutes and 34 seconds remaining. Romo in the shotgun. Passes it to, to Vince Mayo and only gains eight yards. And man, what a catch by Vince Mayo. It would be second and two. Tony Romo in the shotgun. He does not have much time left. He's only fighting for pride. And gives it again to Vince Mayo. And gets enough for a first down. Maybe first and ten. What would Tony Romo do now? He decides to pass it and gives it to Des Bryant. Only gained seven yards. And it will be second and three. Tony Romo, what would he do next? Second and three, Romo goes to the shotgun and passes it to Cole Beasley and that would be enough for a touchdown. And Dallas Cowboys would score a touchdown and fight for pride. What a beautifully designed play for the Dallas Cowboys and Beasley would score a touchdown for the Dallas Cowboys. And they would kick it right to the uprights and be down by 11 points. That meant they had to score two more touchdowns. But unfortunately, they would onside kick it and failed miserably. As they surpassed the two minute warning. 
1 minute and 55 seconds left. What will Sam Bradford and the Eagles do? Hands off to DeMarco Murray. Runs it for only 7, 8 yards. And it will be 2nd and 2 at the 37 yard line. 2nd and 2. Winding down the clock. Making sure that the Dallas Cowboys use all their timeouts. DeMarco Murray runs. And look at this. What a beast DeMarco Murray is. What a run game by DeMarco Murray. It will be first and ten at the 19 yard line. Will they put the final nail in the coffin? DeMarco Murray runs it. But he got tripped. He really got tripped. It will be second and four. Only gained six yards after he tripped. Hands off to Marco Murray again. Barely gets anything. Only got two yards of that one. It would be third and two. Sam Bradford, what would he do? He would decide to hand it off to Marco Murray, and he punches it in for the first down, and that would do it. Sam Bradford would decide to waste time, waste the, wind the clock down as it ticks, ticks, and he would kneel it and seal the deal. And that would wrap up the game as the Philadelphia Eagles emerge, emerge victorious against the Dallas Cowboys, 21-10. What a game this was. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys put up a fight, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So the Philadelphia Eagles would go to 2-0. Two 2-0. And oh. two and oh. But how long will their winning streak last? As in week three, the Eagles... Will play against the New York Jets at Lincoln Financial Field. Will the Eagles emerge victorious again against the New York Jets? Stay tuned and find out. Fans, thank you for joining us with this uh, season mode of Madden NFL 16. Like, subscribe, favorite, and uh, give me a comment or whatever. And I will see you fans next time as we close with this. Go.